Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition for, for Friday, May 19th. SOMD Wire is a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV Video Production Program. I'm Caleb. I'm Ivan. And here's what we have for you this week. 294 students received their Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Master of Arts in Teaching degrees from St. Mary's College of Maryland in the annual commencement held on Saturday, May 13th. Five-time Grammy Award winner Angelique Kijo delivered the commencement ad address, reminding graduates that to be a successful person, you need to recognize the people that have invested in you and that have seen something special in you that have already given all they have for you to become who you want to be. She then followed her remarks with a song of thanks, which she performed from the podium a cappella. The historic St. Mary's City Department of Research and Collections have found the remains of a young man believed to have been buried 400 years ago. Travis Parno, acting executive director and director of research collections, said Remarka the remarkable discovery of the remains of one of Maryland's first colonizers is an important opportunity to learn about the individual who probably never appeared in the historical record. Due to the ongoing removal of the remains, St. Mary's Fort site is currently closed to tours and public access. After months of meetings, work sessions, and public hearings, the Charles County Commissioners ended the fiscal 2024 budget season with the passage of a $527 million spending plan. Commissioner President Reuben B. Collins thanked the Budget Office for their hard work after the budget was formally adopted on Tuesday during an abbreviated morning meeting, saying, I'd like to express my absolute appreciation for your professionalism. With every passing year that I have been in this building, I've learned to grow and fully appreciate the breadth of what you are doing. Southern Maryland Electronic Cooperative worked with the school systems of Calvert, Charles, St. Mary's counties to select the honored 22 educators with outstanding teacher awards for leadership in the fields of mathematics, science, technology, and engineering. The teachers were chosen for their outstanding performance in the areas of creativity, rapport with students, enthusiasm for teaching, professionalism, innovation, innovating teaching methods. Now turning to sports, after winning their respective 3A state indoor titles last winter, Northern High School's boys and girls track teams have now done the same last Thursday afternoon at St. Charles with the Patriot girls having a 40-point run-up with the Patriot boys trailing Chopticon by a single point, then proceeding to secure the victory in the boys' 1,600-meter relay. Last Saturday, the SMCM lacrosse team suffered a tough 10-9 loss to the fifth-ranked Middlebury College in the second round of the NCAA three tourney. While the team is upset about the loss, they have promised to be optimistic and strive forward towards the future success. That's all we have for you on the Friday, May 19th edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Caleb. I'm Ivan. Signing, Signing off. off.